Welcome to St Edmundsbury Deanery for this Eucharist on the Saturday before Palm Sunday. Friends, we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Wherever we are in our own homes, let's ask the Holy Spirit to be with us now as together we pray. Almighty, Almighty God, God, to, to whom, whom all hearts are open, open all, all desires known, known, and, and from whom no, no secrets, secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, Spirit that, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through, through Christ, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that God loved us first and sent his Son to take away our sins. Confident of such great love, let us confess together. Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour, in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us out from darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Almighty God, you forgive all who truly repent. Have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and keep us in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, Grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Then say to them, Thus says the Lord God, I will take the people of Israel from the nations among which they have gone, and will gather them from every quarter, and bring them to their own land. I will make them one nation in the land, on the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king over them all. Never again shall they be two nations, and never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. They shall never again defile themselves with their idols and their detestable things, or with any of their transgressions. I will save them from all the apostasies into which they have fallen, and will cleanse them. Then they shall be my people, and I will be their God. For the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary and had seen what Jesus did, believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what he had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting of the council and said, What are we to do? This man is performing many signs. If we let him go like this, everyone will believe in him, and the Romans will come and destroy both our holy place and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing at all. You do not understand that it is better for you to have one man die for the people than have the whole nation destroyed. He did not say this on his own, but being high priest that year, 
he prophesied that Jesus was about to die for the nation. And not for the nation only, but to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to put him to death. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So that Gospel reading heralds the beginning of the greatest week of the Christian year, Holy Week, because it heralds the unfolding of the events by which Jesus walks his lonely way to the cross, to desolation. And I love the way in which the political context is made clear in today's Gospel reading. The realities that the people who ran Israel on behalf of the Romans were facing at that time. The reality is that any Messiah was a potential threat to Roman authority. So the balancing act that the High Priest and the Sanhedrin had to undertake was a balancing act between keeping the peace, trying to duplicate their own people and keep the Romans away from them. It's into that maelstrom, that political upheaval that Jesus walks with the absolute law of love, determined to reflect the absolute law that his God has given him, his God and our God, that there shall be a law of love and that that is more important than human safety, more important than liberty, more important than life itself. It's those life-changing, earth-shattering, cosmic events that we begin to celebrate tomorrow. So let's pray for ourselves, for the world, for the church, for all places that are still experiencing upheaval. Lord, teach us not to be a people of fear, but to be a people of courage. Teach us not to be a people protecting our own safety, but protecting our neighbour's safety. Teach us not to be a people of greed, but a people of generosity. For we are your people, God of love. Like you, we must give and love wherever we are, whatever it costs, for as long as it takes, wherever you call us. We pray for everyone stuck at home, particularly those in really challenging situations, for families stuck in small flats, for people caring for the sick, for people who have to self-isolate, for people who feel vulnerable, anxious and lonely. Let us pray for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for those working so hard at this time frontline services in the NHS and police and emergency providers and local authorities and our national leaders. Pray for those working so hard to find vaccines, for those rolling out testing, for those trying to keep the infrastructure of society going. For them all in thanksgiving, Lord in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Let us pray for a growth in good neighbourliness and that when this is over, we may still keep the ways in which we've learned to live differently, more generously. That strangers may speak, that neighbours may care, and that those who were in division may be reconciled. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's pray for those sick at home or in hospital in this county. Ipswich Hospital, West Suffolk Hospital and our hospices. In our cathedral community, we are praying particularly, continuing to pray through our, our list of those we have been asked to pray for at this time. Among those we are asked to remember particularly Niall Plummer. David Brand. Brian Cook. Lillian Curl. Jay Davison. Lavender Hasty. Janet Lone. Sybil Mobley. 
Emily Rout, Mary Southwood and John Stemp. Pray for those who are long-term ill, who we pray for on Saturdays. Chris Shawcross, Joyce Smith, Margaret Tebbit, Simon Vernon, Darian Vermond, Rebecca Wallen, Mark Wardell, Kathy Winning, Barbara Whitfield, Margaret Whitehead, Sui Ken Wong, and Sun Choi Wao. For them all, Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who've died recently, for people who died in our hospitals or at home, for all who've died from coronavirus. And on our list of those we're asked to pray for, who've died recently and whose funerals have been conducted recently. Liz Hardy, Robert Laws, Irene Pask, Doris Wright, and George Piper. Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord, and let, let light perpetual shine upon them. them. May they, they rest, rest in, in peace and rise in glory. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We are the body of Christ. In one spirit, we were all baptised into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our life together. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. If you're watching with someone else at home, please do exchange a sign of peace with them. God of mercy and compassion, your word calls us home to faith and love. Accept all that we offer you this day in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And now we give you thanks because for our salvation he was obedient even to death on the cross. The tree of shame was made the tree of glory, and where life was lost, their life has been restored. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory to you, our Heavenly Father, who in your tender mercy gave your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his one oblation of himself, once offered a full, perfect and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world. He instituted and in his Holy Gospel commanded us to continue a perpetual memory of his precious death until he comes again. Hear us, merciful Father, we humbly pray, and grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, we receiving these gifts of your creation, this bread and this wine, according to your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me.
In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, Lord and Heavenly Father, in remembrance of the precious death and passion, the mighty resurrection and glorious ascension of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, we offer you through him this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Grant that, by his merits and death, and through faith in his blood, we and all your church may obtain forgiveness of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. Although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer you any sacrifice, yet we pray that you will accept this, the duty and service that we owe. Do not weigh our merits, but pardon our offences, and fill us all who share in this holy communion with your grace and heavenly benediction. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim the Lord's death, death until he comes. Jesus, Lamb of God, have, have mercy on us. us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have, have mercy on us. us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant, grant us peace. peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy to receive, receive you. you. But, but only say, say the word, word and I shall be healed. Let us pray. God of our pilgrimage, you have fed us with the bread of heaven. Refresh and sustain us as we go forward on our journey. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Tomorrow, the Eucharist comes from Canon Philip's house, celebrated by Philip and his family, and uh, evening prayer uh, here from the deanery at 3.30. All our Holy Week services are available are both on the Cathedral website and the Cathedral Sunday Bulletin which has been sent to you and also on the Diocesan e-news. Hope that you'll be able to join us for all of those services. It feels um, something of a privilege but also extraordinary still to be able to receive communion at this time when if you're watching us from home you're not able to have communion and I just keep hoping and praying for the day when we can all meet together around the altar again. The Lord be with you. And also with you. 
Christ give you grace to grow in holiness, to deny yourselves, take up your cross and follow him. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. So we remain in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name, in the name of, Christ. of Christ. Amen. Amen.